Hello and welcome to another Drag Your PME tutorial. Okay, this tutorial is going to be quick and simple um, on about customizing kind of like the theme and look. I thought since I'd formatted my hard drive and I don't have um, my uh, programs installed, I should uh, go and well install them and show you how to install them etc so right the two programs I'm going to be using is clear dock to change my dock ever so slightly and shapeshifter to change like the theme so okay you've got the DMG I've um, bought it from the internet and they send you an email and then you're like okay and then they send you this that and the other and then you download it um, and you it this is actually um, I think it's an installer Yes, it is, rather than a drag and drop utility. Um, so you just continue, select where you want to, um, no, wait, uh, yes, just in case. Um, select where you want to um, save it, um, just go through the, the options, etc., for all users, even though I'm the only user here. Um, An installation log, launch, launch product upon completion. Okay, continue, um, blah, 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 continue, continue. Um, then it, I think it should ask you. For your password, there we go. Password in, and it should install. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Right, so that's me finished with Shapeshifter, and then install ClearDoc in I think the same way. Um, I just want to keep the DMG files, so I'll put them in the apps folder that I've made myself. Um, yes, I have the application enhancer here. Next, close, whatever. Uh, install for all users, create log, blah, blah, blah. Um, continue, password, just like before. Continue. Um, it's pretty basic stuff, really. Quit, because it's finished. Isn't that easy, quick, and then you can eject all the rubbish. And put them in the trash, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so. I think that's done there we go we have application enhancer this allows us to change our dock so for example uh, running application triangle color as you can see it's like black I'm going to change it to for arguments sake blue close and the fill color is also going to be um, do, 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 to send say the dock disappears when you click apply so Hmm, is that blue? Can't really tell. Uh, it doesn't look uh, like it's working. Hmm. So, for example, green, just for argument's sake. And another little bit opaque. Green and apply. Let's try again. Hmm, it doesn't seem to be working. Maybe that's because it needs a restart of the computer. I'm not quite sure. I'll do that now and get back to you. I shall restart the computer. Okay, so I've restarted my computer and if I scroll down here, you can see that the dock has actually changed. So, when you install the software, before you change the dock, I do recommend that you restart the computer for things to start to take effect. So, if I go on the system preferences again, as you can see, the triangles have gone blue like I wanted, and the dock has gone green like I wanted, and the, the dock outline is also green with a little bit of transparency you can't really see. So, time to make the dock look, look super sexy. In fact, instead of uh, making the dock look super sexy, why don't I change other stuff while I'm on? Um, just kind of to give you the, the um, whole view, if you know what I mean. Continue. Right. At the moment, it's uh, in a license because obviously I haven't um, typed in. No, nah, I'll not bother. You actually need uh, to buy this, which I've bought. Um, and you need to uh, type in the serial code key thing. So you, will, um, so you can use it obviously for longer than 30, 15 days. 15 days for $20, which is £10. I thought that was quite cheap, so I went and bought it. But that's all in my email account. So rather than going to emails, I just uh, work in demo mode. So for example, we have here um, the shapeshifter screen, if you must. And you just want to go to like the apply tab to select your themes and icons and um, cursors, desktop pictures, etc. But at the moment, we have nothing well the default aqua theme so what do we do click on download and you can see um, you can click next 
and it will load the next theme next and you can click when you find one you want for example here i'm just going to get this one and i'm going to click the download download yeah come on so what's it done uh it's launching firefox which wasn't actually launched so it's taking its time loading um and we have a window woohoo isn't this great save the file da -da -da. it's got a dmg 35 37 percent i'll just close that um 40 50 percent okay so we're going to get the dmg file um some themes actually install themselves straight off the bat um i'm not sure if this one's going to do the same um all within this like ships shapeshifter preference pane if you must um so we're just going to see what happens when it finishes really that's what life's all about seeing what happens and hopefully it does what you want it to do like getting a job but then you have to quit the job because it's crappy okay so it hasn't um opened it by itself so i'm going to open the dmg and blah 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 this is actually quite boring when you're sitting watching it um i do apologize i suppose um but basically you'll get this right um all you want to do is double click it and you see the bar on the bottom there uh, now it should be installed now you can delete this and you can remove these from the desktop delete put them in the trash empty the trash if you want uh, whoops um, and voila we have the Kururu Kuro 1.0.1 .1. and what do you do apply changes and as you can see there's a bar on the bottom go left and right left and right from left to right rather not just left and right uh, applying the changes your um, bar at the top should change um, I will let you know that um, okay just clicky okay that programs such as I show you won't have see this effect on the finder because it restarted like the docket stuff I don't think you saw but programs that are already open like Firefox still have the previous theme as you can see like the Bluetooth and the sound so these programs just needed to be quitted and restarted for uh, just so they get the theme applied etc so for example if we're just going to go to finder we can see the finder has been all modified woo isn't that great and it even matches my desktop um thingamajiggies what do you call them icons so i'm just going to go into paul apple and go to my desktop bgs which is where i have a few little high-res desktop images so i'm going to choose this one and i'm going to apply it as go back as the desktop background like so and there it is that's my desktop background if I close it all I go to finder it the theme has completely changed including the dock I really like this look like it's a very transparent feel to it um, I'll just show you what oh don't want garage band open I'll just show you what um, settings I have it on so you can kind of like mimic it if you want to um, this is a lot better than that stupid green one I had in the tutorial uh, okay so you go in the application ed an uh, enhancer I go clear dock um, and obviously right so what you want to do is you want to tick this and then what I've done is using like a black and white theme I've kind of put it as white and then took the white down towards black so it's kind of like um, a 60 70 percent gray um, and then give it um, only 20 percent opacity um, the purpose in this is so like the the background can bleed through the dock do you know what I mean I mean um, if I wanted uh, like this kind of like gray i don't know how to explain like if i was to leave the opacity at 100 see it's like quite a dark gray i don't want it that dark uh to keep keep it light i would put it about here but i don't want that i want the background to kind of bleed through which is why i put it at about 70 percent gray and then took the opacity down to 20 percent uh like so this is kind of to say so the the background image will bleed through the dock like so uh, and also I do it for the border not so much though the opacity has to be um, less for the border um, so we can if you can see so we can see actually where the duck ends because that would be a bit silly so I've took it um, like down towards the white a bit so 50% grey and then took the opacity up a bit so we could see like where the we could see where the border ends in the dock um, but we don't want it to be fully like in your face so that's why I use the opacity there um, so yeah, that's what I do. 
um, for this nice, lovely um, dog. Yeah. So, hope you've learned something. These programs are very, very cool tools. I really like them um, for making things look a little bit more different rather than the default because the default sometimes gets a little bit tedious um, and it's good to have a change you know um, and also just to prove Windows users that Macs can be customized this is just um, kind of the tip of the iceberg if you must if you're an advanced um, coder or whatever you can completely change the operating system but obviously I'm not so I'm going to stick with these tools that cost me £10 or $20 depending on where you come from and if you're from Hong Kong for example I don't know how much it'll cost you <laughs> I don't know. So hopefully you've uh, learned something new um, and that you will watch this. Thank you to all my subscribers once again. Um, I'm really happy with my uh, 60 subscribers so far. I hope you're watching. Um, thank you very much for picking Dragon PME and have a good time. Have a good day. Blah, blah, blah. And I'll see you next time on a Dragon PME tutorial.